Lords of the Fallen is a very challenging game. We wanted to make sure that when playing this game, the process of learning and mastering your skills and ultimately overcoming the challenge is the basis and fun of the entertainment. Variety of opponents and variety of types of challenges and fights. You, the player, will adjust against these situations and fighting the same type of opponent with a different armor, different shield or a different weapon or just with the different moves is definitely going to feel different. One of the most important thing for us, bosses. We wanted to make sure that there's a certain type of symmetry and how they were designed and executed. So there's a feeling of amplification whenever you meet a boss. But at the same time, we wanted to match it with the reward. For each one single boss, there will be a special way to defeat him, and this will give you a unique look. Probably the most work-heavy part was trying to seek out the things that are on both sides of this very, very fine line between challenging, but fun and rewarding, and frustrating. So wanted to make sure that we seek out certain elements of the gameplay that would be tedious. We have almost a dozen weapon types. The fast weapons you can have perfect timing while fighting. With heavier weapons you can charge them for extra damage. With staffs for example you can double hit the enemy while executing just one attack. With armors, we have three main types. You can mix and match them quite easily, so you're not stuck with one class for the whole game. And of course, you can also mix and match different parts from different armors. We also have a variety of shields with different movesets. You can parry, you can perform a shield bash. On top of all your equipment. You get the crafting system that features runes. You have fire runes or poison runes and then those runes also have grades and you can imbue those runes into all types of your equipment. So shields, armors, weapons and they get more powerful when you progress through the game. The origins of magic are linked to the three archetypes a rogue, a cleric, and a warrior. Every archetype is a different play style. For example, choosing a rogue, you're telling the game that you want to kill the opponents faster and in a more stealthy way, while choosing the cleric tells the game that you want to regenerate your health and get more protective. And when you're choosing a warrior, you're going for the raw power approach. The level design process started in a rather simple way. We knew that we wanted to create monumental levels with monumental geometry. We wanted the players to have alternate paths through which they could traverse the levels, so that a player could take a straightforward approach and attack the enemy face to face, or maybe sneak behind the enemy and make a difficult fight. A rather simpler one. We knew that we wanted to place secret areas throughout the game so the player would be rewarded with useful items for exploring not-so-obvious areas. 